Hey guys, welcome to the Let's Design. In this video, I will show you how to make the fifth practice, and this exercise name is Ejector Bracket. Okay, let's start from the top plane. Click and go to Normal Tool, and click the sketch, and click the line. Make the line for construction. Click to this spot. Right click and select give the smart dimension for this line it is 38 mm click ok click the circle give the dimension for the circle is 30 Click OK. Next, click the circle to make it bigger than one. Click OK. Click Smart Dimension. Give the diameter is 54 millimeter and click OK. Click Line. Follow this instruction. Right click, click select, trim entities, and this is I want to remove this line. Drag the mouse, click OK. Give the thickness by click the features, click extrude boss, change the direction, and the thickness is 9mm, click OK. OK. And this you can click the surface, right click, go to normal to zoom out, click the sketch, make sure you click the corner rectangle at the sketch. Small dimension give the height ninety plus twenty two. Click OK. Zoom out and click the features. Extrude was or extrude base. Change the direction for the thickness and give it 10 millimeter and click OK. You can see the part is like this. Then Click the surface, right click, normal to, click once more, normal to, click the sketch, kiss the circle, give the dimension for diameter for the circle is 19 mm click ok 
and then give the di distance for center to the surface is 25 plus 6 mm and click OK and the distance for this part to this part it is 22 mm and click OK click yes and then I will make the larger circle and give the smart dimension for this it is 44 mm click OK and I will connect this line right click select and you can click this line for left click mouse and click the control and at the same time you click this circle so there are the dialog box and select tangent click ok and we can trim this line to remove that click ok click line click this part right click select click line give this is line to this right click and select the distance for this line to the surface is 6 mm and click ok and then we can trim for this area okay you can see click ok and we will give the thickness for this sketch click the heaters and extrude wash or extrude base click this part and this you can change the view like this make the direction for this row is inside the sketch by change by click the reverse direction click enter the value is 10 millimeter click ok okay and then click the toggle and click the sketch click the extrude boss or extrude base click this sketch and change the direction give the value is 16 millimeter and click ok Okay, for next, click the toggle and click the sketch, click the features, and just this sketch, change the direction, and this option, change to up to surface, and click this surface. You can see the sketch is like this, and click OK for the extrude boss. Okay. So 
click this surface and right click click the normal tool click the reference for geometry click plane okay you can see the new plane in this part uh, change the offset distance and give it 22 millimeter and click flip offset click ok ok right click in this plane and click normal too ok click the sketch click the line click for instruction right click click select click line okay give the smart dimension for this line it's is 22 mm and click ok and give this dimension for this line it is 9 mm and click ok ok and we can hide this plane right click sorry oh for the first let's extra cut this sketch click the features extra cut click the mid plane and enter the value is 20 and click ok ok you can see the sketch is like this click this plane and you can see hide and then click ok you can you can change the view by to isometric click the button combination control plus 7 in your keyboard okay we can change the scans for this interface and i want to change the plan weight okay, like this and if you want to change the appearance for this part just click edit appearance and i want to change the color to blue okay and click ok just like this okay guys this tutorial is done i hope you like it thank you